What's up, guys? Zach Man doing a quick video update. It is April 12th uh, here with Micro Profits FX. Just kind of, kind of quickly run through it. Uh, look at some trades, doing a little analysis on what's going to happen this week. Um, obviously, on the pound right here, we're kind of seeing this wedge. We're going to kind of watch that, see what it does, see if it breaks out or breaks down. Um, just kind of keep an eye on that. Right now, I'm in some trades with the yen. Um, right now, I'm going to sell on the USDJPY right now. So we're going to sell right now. Obviously, it got in rate. Along this green line right here, so you kind of see that so right on this candle here. Um, see what that does. Gonna, I got my take profit down here at right around 101, but we'll just kind of watch it. Obviously, we have some uh, support down here, so we'll kind of see what, if it w wicks out and kind of goes back up or not before I take profit, because um, there is some support there. Otherwise, the you know there would be a little bit here, but nothing major. Uh, one right here, but the big one is kind of right down in here is the untested. Uh, support area that hasn't been down after a while so we're just going to kind of watch that um same thing with uh australian dollar we're going to kind of watch that too obviously we have a major trend right here uh so we'll see if it uh it's got some wicks touching there um we'll see what it does as you can kind of see i did add another indicator right here i'm just, i'm not quite sure i'm not going to talk about it yet because i'm just kind of testing it out um just to kind of see how it does see if it gives me more of a clarification on which what direction and kind of you know the the slow down as far as the uh, the pattern of the candles anyways, to kind of when it's losing steam um, and stuff like that for my trend, just to kind of verify the trend and make sure I get a better uh, opportunity to trade. But uh, I'm not going to talk about it until I know for sure and it's working and it's helping out. But until then, we're just going to kind of keep on going. Um, let's just jump to the next one because I, I already kind of went through these. Most of, most of the, the charts are showing a wedge, so we're just going to have to kind of see what happens in the next couple of days. Um, Euro. I'm going to sell on that one as well with the yen. So I got a sell entry right here. Um, so that's a sell. Again, we're going to take profits down here at the bottom um, just because of the, uh, the next support area and the trend line, a major trend line down there. So uh, same thing with the pound and the yen, selling that as well. Again, there's a little bit of uh, support we have right down here. You got a little support there, there. So right here is kind of a major uh, support area. So I'm just going to kind of watch it. I have my take profit down here. Um, so if it does wick out and kind of bounces back, my I'm thinking that it's going to kind of go back up here and then probably go back down. But we'll kind of keep an eye on that for the property taking. A um, little bit of resistance or uh, support down here, but nothing major. Like I said, the, the next one, really big ones are down here. Um, so continue on. Uh, I was thinking about entering, and I still might. Um, but I know that, yeah. So we do have a nice wick right there. It's kind of rejecting the 200 MA. Uh, and like I said, the yen is pretty powerful right now. I just don't, it looks to me, this looks more like an accumulation zone, but, um, obviously we do have the top of the wedge right here, so it could possibly go down to, you know what, let's do it. We're going to enter the trade right now, 30 lots. So drag this down to about take profit. It's going to be right around. Yeah, let's go a little bit higher just to be on the safe side. So we'll put take profit right there. So that's going to be nice. All right, continuing on. I'm pretty sure those are the only ones that I'm in right now. Let's double check. So right now, okay, so all right, let's continue on here. As you can kind of see, I'm in profit already, $161. But anyways, um, Audi, I'm gonna, or the Australian dollar, I'm going to kind of stay out of that one just because that one really – those two conflict pretty good, so I want to make sure I get a good clear clarification on that one. Um, like I said, the Australian dollar has been pretty pretty jacked up. Um, S or uh, CHF in the end, got to sell on that one. Um, I think that's same thing with uh, NZDJPY. I'm not going to enter a sell. I mean, to me, I think it would be a good idea, um, but. Again, I don't, I'm not sure, so therefore I'm not going to enter it because I'm kind of conflicted on that. And I'm not going to even attempt to do that. So that's basically my trades. And the rest of them, like I said, are kind of wedging right now. So it's kind of hard to determine a good entry point until they start breaking out or um, reversing and all that stuff. So that's just kind of where I'm at. So this is the quick little update. Um, as you kind of see, we're rolling in some profits here. So thanks for watching, guys. Quick video. Um, like, again, uh, subscribe to the Telegram channel, Instagram. Um, you know, like, subscribe to the channel on YouTube, all that stuff, fun stuff. Otherwise, yeah, Micro Profits uh, FX is uh, making some big things happen. So um, the account's growing. It keeps going and going. As you can kind of see, we're at 2962. Um, 
since I started with $23.50, I believe it was. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Enjoy your night. Happy trading this week. And until next time, I'll see you guys around.